to my craft room. Hey, I've got a really fast and easy Father's Day gift. I'm actually uh, making this for a wedding I'm go as a wedding gift. Um, they had these on their registry uh, on Amazon, and I thought they'd like it even better if they were personalized. Um, there's a list of what you're going to need down in the description, and I will show you how to look up your monogram that you need and put the name on it, and you'll be ready to go. So let's go make it. Okay, here we are on the canvas. First, let's get our monogram. Um, I used um, this one, a split monogram, and you can see the code number up here. I'll pop it up here too. But you can pick any one, okay? Let me show you how to do that. I just put monogram S, or you can just put S or whatever, um, sorry, um, whatever letter that you're working at, say monogram. There's tons of them here. I almost use this one. I really like this one. I really like this one. And you can find them with, for whatever letter that you're doing. Here is one, and, and I'm gonna go ahead and add these just to show you. Here's one, this has um, changeable text. If you like that, and you just go in here, you're going to detach, okay? And then you'll pull this out put whatever, um, then just double tap it. You're gonna delete it. And let's put, I don't know, Mason. There, just like that. Okay, then you'll put it right back up in here. Let me make this bigger so we can see what we're doing here. You can watch these purple lines that tells you you're in the middle. Okay, then I'm going to make this smaller again. You will um, drag your finger or your mouse across all of them and hit attach. And there you go, you're ready. Okay, if you wanna do that. Um, let me go back and get the one that I'm using. It is 477F8A9D and all images start with hashtag capital M. Okay, now. Um, and you can do the same thing. You see how this one's different colors? The reason that's different colors is because you can ungroup it, okay? And then you can move this to make it wider. You see how I did that? And then, you know, it can become as wide as you want. So that is what I wanna do with this one, only it, um, it doesn't ungroup. So let me show you a real easy way. If you find something like this, but you want the gap to be bigger, you're gonna um, go into shapes. So I'm gonna grab a square. Now I'm gonna make this way bigger, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to slice this out, okay? So I want it bigger than the bottom of this monogram, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just gonna cover this, this side, the bottom part, okay? Then, you're gonna drag your finger or your mouse across all of them and grab all of them. And then you're gonna hit slice, just like that. And now they're separate. We don't need these anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of those. And now they're separate. I liked it a little bigger like this, a little wider, okay? So then we need a text. This is a gift, so. I want it cap lock and S-T-R-O-U-D. There we go. And then we're gonna go into edit. And right here is how you change the font. I used Caslon graphic, so I'm just gonna go in here and put Caslon graphic right here. I like that because the um, serifs and stuff kind of match the same as um, the S that's in here. So this is gonna go here. Let's do two inches. I don't think, what all we're doing right now is getting this size that we like. Oh, I kinda like that. Okay, now you're gonna wanna make sure it's in the middle, just like that. You just watch those um, purple lines and there you go. Of course, you're gonna put your name in there. Once you get it all exactly how you want, you're gonna drag your finger across all of it and hit attach. And now it's all one piece. 
Oh, on the picture, I did four inches wide. Okay, four inches. There we go. Now, I've got that the way I want it. I need one for the mug. So I'm going to duplicate. There we go. And the mugs were 2.5 inches wide. And again, it depends on the size of what you're doing here. There we go. And I have four mugs, so I need four of these. So we're going to go into actions. We've got one there, two, three, four. There we go. You're ready to cut, but hold on. I'm going to show you where to put it on your mat, okay? So I'm going to hit make it on the mat there you go okay you don't want to you don't want to cut them out like this you need a um a space around each one to cut them into squares so you, so you can put them on each in individual thing so i'm gonna put one here one like right here and one like down here because i want at least a half an inch or so in between each one and this big one i need to pull down too Okay. So now it's ready to cut. Go ahead and get it cut. I, I cut mine on just plain vinyl. I use a permanent vinyl because it sticks really good to your glass. Okay. And then we'll go over to the craft table and I'll show you what you need to do to weed it and how to get it ready to etch and we'll be ready to go. Okay, here we go. I have already done the smaller ones and I'm going to do the larger one for you now. Just go real slow. Usually if you go diagonally, now sometimes like this little curly cue, I'll run my thing around it and kind of help it pull up just like that, see? Okay, like I said, you are going to take off what you do want to show, as you can see over here on these. So I'm just gonna keep going real slow, make sure that the parts I wanna stay are staying as I'm pulling this back. There we go. Okay, and then here is this bottom section. On the smaller one, there's a little triangle part right here that I had trouble with. So just, just kind of watch and go slow. Okay, now, you've got transfer um tape now i've got this smaller transfer tape it's it's opaque you know it's not as clear through as other it all just depends on which kind you like which kind you use so the piece i'm going to use i'm going to take it make it big enough to cover everything i want to transfer okay that should be good usually when you have new transfer tape it's really super sticky so what I'll do is I'll put it on my clothes. It'll get some of the lint from my clothes on. I'll do it four or five times and make it less sticky. Oh, okay, here we go. Now, I have some alcohol. Make sure that there's no soap or fingerprints. Now, I always, okay, I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna be pouring it like this. So I wanna put it on this side so it, faces outward whenever I'm using it okay so there we go In just a minute I'll show you how I do this but let me get these wiped down first okay we're gonna wipe them off with alcohol while they're drying you just need it where okay again going off the premise that we're right-handed okay there we go now when I need to do these round things and I want them to be still I take a towel and I roll it on either end and kind of make, now I don't want to touch where I just put the alcohol, kind of make a, you know, a little well for it to sit in, just like that. Here we go, look, I've cut these into two different squares. So I'm gonna move this out of the way real quick so you can see how I do this, okay? Now, you want to stick it back on to your backing. That'll make it a lot easier for you, okay? Then, I only care about covering the actual stencil. These edges and stuff doesn't really matter. So, I'm going to put my transfer tape on there. I'm going to smush it down pretty good. Then, I'm going to use my tool. Let me sit down. Get it started. 
There we go, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna slowly, slowly, slowly add a diagonal. If you don't pick, if it, if your tape doesn't start picking up something, you can get it started. Okay, so you're just gonna go slow, slow, slow. Okay, there we go. We're doing it. Okay, let me make sure. we go. Let me just make sure I'm getting all of my pieces onto my transfer tape. Again, we're going to go very slowly. Make sure all the pieces are getting picked up. And there we go. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move the mug over. I'm going to bring my pitcher over. I'm going to stand up. And I'm just basically going to eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is a homemade thing. And But you kind of want to know what you're doing. When, and I'm just going to make sure I get this straight part straight on here. So that, you know, make sure that it's straight. Once I figure out exactly where I want it, I will turn it like this. Get the middle stuck down and then push it off towards the edges. So let's from either side, make sure I've got it straight like that. Now I've put the middle, I'm gonna run my finger down it. Okay. And then I'm just gonna slowly and gently push it all the way to the edge, just like that. See that? Just up and down. Now, if you get a wrinkle in there, that's fine. I'll show you how to fix that. Okay, now we're gonna really um, push down on it. If you want, if you have an old um, like gift card, you can do that. Okay. Just like this. There we go. Make sure all these little pieces are stuck pretty good. I'm going to go back over with my finger. Okay. Now, here comes the moment of truth. Let's hope that it's stuck well onto the glass. Now, I use this 651 Orcal. Any kind of a permanent vinyl will work. Okay, again, we're going to go very, very slowly in case something doesn't catch. Then we can grab it. Okay, still going. Okay, everything's looking good so far. I watch the edge of this transfer tape because that's where whatever that doesn't catch is going to start. Again, I'm pulling diagonally. Okay. Slowly, 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 slowly. And done. Look at that. All right. Okay, now, the biggest, most important thing is to make sure all of these edges are, are pushed down. And you'll see, so you can't see it on camera, there's going to be little air bubbles. Now, I don't care if there's an air bubble up here or over here, because none of that matters. All that matters is the edges of all of this. So you're gonna go around every single edge and push down really hard. Make sure that you have a good edge on every single little thing. Okay, you're just gonna keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Then so I've got a couple little air bubbles along this edge. I'm gonna use my fingernail, sometimes the back of my fingernail. It just, it's just easier for me. You can use the, the gift card, but if, you don't want it to catch on anything and pull. So it's a lot easier to do that with your hands, your fingernails. Just get the light reflected on it. Make sure you get all of the edges stuck really good. Make sure if there's any bubbles that you've gotten them out. Okay. Just on the edge. If the bubbles are actually in the vinyl, you know, and it's not on the edge, it doesn't matter because we're going to peel all this off and, and throw it away anyway. Okay. All we care about is the clear part right now. Okay. So you're going to make sure all of your edges are good. Okay. Then I have Armor Etch right here. I use this old yucky um, spatula thing to put it on with. Now... Before I do that, though, I'm going to mask everything. If you even have even one drop that gets on your glass where you don't want it to be, it will um, etch it before you can even wipe it off. Okay? So now, um, I've made this, this mask right here, and I want to make sure that no glass 
is showing through. It's just for drips. You see where my handle's sticking out right here? I'm gonna take my towel and put it over that. All you care about is drips, okay? There we go. Make sure, so as you're taking it out of your container, that it doesn't drip on anything. Okay, there we go. You're gonna take your Armor Etch. Okay, and you can just get a small bottle. That's enough. This is reusable. So when we're done, we're gonna take it off and put it back in here, and we're gonna reuse it, okay? So if you've got everything all masked off and you're ready to go, I'm gonna actually pour a little bit on here. I use it about, leave it about 10 minutes. Now, after five minutes, I will come back with a toothpick, and I'll show you all this, and kind of stir it around a little bit. Why? Air bubbles. Then, when you go to wash it, yep, see the drips I just made? So, this is why. And you don't want to really, you just kind of want to dab it. Okay, you don't really want to scrape it because you might um, dislodge some of your vinyl. And I'm not really touching the stencil. I'm just kind of pushing this a little bit. Okay. I'm, it, I'm doing it very lightly on the top of this cream. Okay. But I want to make sure I get all of my glass covered. Okay. Make sure I get all the little pieces of the glass covered. I'll tell you again later to remind you. When you go to wash this off, do not take the plas uh, the vinyl off yet, your stencil. You're going to wash it and then dry it because when it gets wet, the stenciling goes away. I mean, the etching goes away. But once it dries, then there it is. It's right back. Okay. This is why I tell you to mask everything off because I'm a messy I'm a messy crafter here. So I've got all of my glass covered. I'm gonna give us a five minute window, okay, five minutes. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna stir it around a little bit to make sure that I get all of the surfaces real well. So I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, now you can see here, I've done the exact same thing that we just did with the pitcher. Okay, it's been five minutes, so I'm gonna take a toothpick. Now I'm not gonna do it rough or anything because you don't want to dislodge any of your vinyl and I'm just going to kind of move it and kind of stir it around just a little bit just so if there's an air bubble in there I can get it taken care of before and I don't have to redo it now once you go and wash this off in another five minutes then um, you're gonna make it dry and then you're gonna look at it real close and make sure that, that you don't have any missing spots. That way you can redo it. I'm gonna go do the picture too real quick. Okay, it's been five minutes for both of these. You can see I've, I've pretty much scraped as much of, off of this as I can. So I'm going to get as much of this off. Since this is stuff is kind of expensive, I like to reuse it. Just be careful. Do it soft. Try not to push too hard on your stencil. You don't want it to dislodge your stencil at all. Now, I'm going to take the masking off, and then I'm going to go wash all of this off. But do not take the stencil off. And don't panic. When it's wet, it's not going to show up. It's not going to show up until it gets dry. So we're going to wash it and dry it. Make sure we don't have any air bubbles or any place that we missed or anything before we take the stencil off. Okay, so I'm going to pull this off. There we go. And the water neutralizes it. So, and I'm going to save this one for the other, the other mugs that I've got to do. Okay, so I'm going to go wash all this off. I'll be right back. Okay, I've washed and dried it made sure that I don't have any bubbles anywhere. I've got a little bit of extra etching cream right here that I didn't quite get all the way off, so I'm gonna scrub that off a little bit. Now, all we gotta do is peel it off. And this is gonna take a minute. So, all we're gonna do is peel all of our mask, all of our stencil off. Look, look, it's already looking good, look at it. Okay, I put a black background on here so you can see better. Look what you made. 
Look at that. Look how good those turned out. Whoever is going to get this as a gift from you, they are going to love it. You did a great job. I'm really proud of you. Now, I got to go do the other mugs.